Are you wondering what the primary column is in Smartsheet? Well, in this video, I'm going to be breaking down exactly what it is, how to use it most effectively, and also share some best practices since I've been using Smartsheet for over seven years in my organization. So firstly, what is the primary column? Well, the primary column in Smartsheet is a mandatory, unchangeable column used to identify and describe each row in a sheet. So if I was to open up this particular resource, a project intake sheet that I've previously created, you'll see that I have set the, pro the primary column as the project description. So in the context of this particular sheet and the processes required for it, it makes sense that the primary column is the project description. Remember, it is used to identify and describe each row in a sheet. Now, at this point, I just want to share this with you. If you weren't sure what the primary column is in a sheet, if you hover over each of the columns, you'll see that in the primary column, it has this little eye icon, and that indicates what the primary column is. If you hover over that, it gives you a little bit of information about how to leverage it and make the most of the primary column. And I'll be walking you through that in a second. But this is our primary column. I just wanted to show you what it's like in the context of a live working sheet. Now, I wanna share some best practices when using it. Firstly, it's a really good idea to use a descriptive name that kind of makes it easy, easily identifiable and also makes it make sense when you start leveraging other resources in Smartsheet, namely reports. And I'll be walking you through that in a second. It's also typically a good idea to set up the primary column first and keep it to the far left-hand side of the sheet. Now, as we saw in our intake, project intake sheet, it's in the third place because that makes sense for us in that particular instance. But for the most part, you're going to want to have your primary column in the first column position. Now, the reason for that is, let's just say the primary column was task. Uh, let's, yeah, let's, let's go milestone. This is going to be a project plan. So milestone, milestone and task. And this is going to be, say, project name. So let's just say I'm building out a project plan. So let's just say this is milestone one. This is task one, just for simplicity's sake. Now, the beauty of the primary column is that we can lever leverage the hierarchy features of Smartsheet. And what I mean by this is we can set up relationships between different data points. So as an example, I want task one to roll up into milestone one. So I'm going to select this particular cell and click out then. And you'll notice that has set up the relationship. So we can indent and outdent and we can kind of roll up information under milestone one as an example. If I did this, so let me take this out. If I'd built this in, oh, I did that by mistake. If I did this in this column, if I was to then indent, let's just say again, we wanted task to indent under milestone, you'll notice that the hierarchy is set up in the primary column. So it doesn't make sense. So you bear that in mind, if you want to leverage hierarchy features, make sure it's all set up under the primary column. Now, the other thing I want to share with you at this point is that you can't change the primary column in any way. So if you were to right click and look for the option here, it's not there, it's not available to you. So what you need to do is you essentially need to do a little bit of uh, data movement. So what I mean by that is let's just say project alpha, project beta. Let's say you wanted to change the primary column to project name and you wanted milestone and task to be in column two position. Well, what you'd need to do is you'd need to move this data under here as an example and move this data across. You'd then need to go in here and you'd need to call this something like project name one because we can't have two columns with the same name. And then you change this to milestone plus task and then you'd go back in here and you'd take that out and you just call it project name. And that's how we've changed our primary column in this particular instance to project name. Now, the one thing I want to also show you is reports. So if I were to create a new report, so right click report, we'll call this, we'll leave, uh, let's call it intake report and press OK. I want to select the intake sheet that we discussed previously. Now press next. Now here is where it's really interesting. If you look here, the primary column on the report is that project description. So this is why it's really, really important that you set it right. If you're setting up, if you are setting up reports 
it's going to pull in the primary column as whatever you set in the underlying shape. So that's why it is really, really important. So I hope this video is useful. I hope you now know what the primary column is in Smartsheet. One other thing I haven't mentioned is that you can't delete it off. So if I was to go in here as an example, right click, there is no option to delete, it's, it's blurred out. So you always need to have at least a primary column. So just make sure you set it accordingly. So yeah, as I say, hope this video is useful. Any questions, comments, feedback about the primary column or in Smartsheet in general, drop them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And with that said, best of luck and I hope you have an excellent day.